Alright guys, it's Wild Onesie Week, day one. Prepare for some Snapchat spam, bitches. It's 11am, walking to the bus stop. I'm a giraffe. Busy day, I was on public transport. Uh, I was at uni, I was at the shopping centres. Um, yeah, and so just from people chucking in their spare change, I made $57. How insane is that? It's Wild Onesie Week, day two. So it's Tuesday, today I'm a mouse. Can you see? I'm a cute little mouse today. I've even got a little, let me see if I can show you in the mirror. I've even got a little, I've even got a little tail. Oh, oh, oh how cute. Today's not gonna be quite as busy, busy as yesterday. I have to go to a doctor's appointment in the city and then I have to go to the chemist. So I'll be wearing. It's Wild Onesie Week Day 2, Tuesday, is complete. I've officially hit $100. Yay! I'm very happy. Wild Onesie Week Day 3. I'm in my giraffe onesie again, as you can see. Today was going to be a rest day, but now I have to go into Centrelink because they've lost all of my forms, and that's apparently my fault. Hopefully I got my sign. Hopefully I'll raise a bit more money today. See how we go. So yes, day three is complete and I've made it to $129 now. Um, there was this beautiful little African couple in the line and I was chatting to them. Well, she didn't speak English, but he did because um, they've just moved here from Africa. Um, and you know, he was saying that they love supporting the World Wildlife Fund because of all the great work that they do um, and particularly a lot of the great work that they do in Africa. Um, and we were just having a little chat. I think that's another great thing about this is that even though um, not everyone I run into donates or not everyone actually has any cash on them depending on where I am um, People are always asking me about it and you know, where does the money go? What's the you know, people are like what's the World Wildlife Fund? People don't even know what it is. So Even people who don't donate um, They're still hearing about it um, You know, they might go look it up on Facebook or whatever on their phone when they get home, you know, who knows? Wild Onesie Week, day four, Thursday, is a go-go. I'm too good, bitches. It's Wild Onesie Week, day five. It's the very last day and I'm very sad, but today I get to be Sully from Monster Zinc. Check this out, I got like a whole, ooh, that's bright light. Look, got my whole tail going on. Any bitches try and mess with me, I'll just like whack them with my tail. That's my plan anyway. I'm just like so sexually attractive in this onesie. Seriously, I've had like five people honk at me and I've been here for like two minutes. I mean guys, like I know I look good, please, but <laughs> try and concentrate on the road, okay? Little video. Ooh, this is Marco guys, and that's Gianluca, and that's Renee. We're all in our onesies now. We're a team. Your budget ones, yeah, John Luke didn't have a onesie, but he he wore fur, so I mean, I think fur. fake fur, I just like to add. Yeah, wild onesie week, we're all thrilled, it's a great time. Just been to two big villains, yes. which is the best place in Adelaide, just so. That's coming from the WWF. Um, <laughs> and now we're going to get some free Christmas Kremes. Yes, very vegan. Alright, wild onesie week is over. Today is the last day. I like wearing a onesie. I don't want to stop. Uh, and I have officially raised $321. I was in Rundle Mall today and I think I had more homeless people give me money than anyone else. Um, yeah, which, you know, you're in the city, you've got businessmen walking past, you've got people my age or people older, um, you know, walking past in their brand name clothing and their $400 shoes and their $100 jeans and dripping in gold jewelry and their Mimco bag and, you know, just obviously with a lot of money. I mean, you've got to have a lot of money to look like this and to wear those clothes and have those shoes and the handbag and everything. Um, yeah, and it's interesting that a lot of those people would ignore me. Um, walk past or be very sort of like but then you know I've got um, I had I reckon at least three different homeless men um, just today I think I had a couple of Mondays who would come up to me 
and give me not only just 50 cents but give me a couple of dollars today and I think that's just so beautiful you know these people one of them actually stopped and chatted to me and he said you know everyone's so caught up on money everyone thinks that money is the be all and end all and it's the only thing that matters but it's not you know you can have a good life and you can have more important things money isn't everything and I just think that's so true because it was the people walking past who were dressed in the most expensive clothes who were just the grumpiest and the unhappiest of people who walked by me anyway that's just my little insight of what I learned in this wild onesie week um, I definitely definitely recommend doing wild onesie week next year it's so easy you know there's not really a lot of effort required you know you're going about your daily business you don't have to go out specially just doing what you do in an average day but wearing a onesie <music>